Okay, <laughs> uh, Mac or PC? Mac all the way. Definitely Mac. Okay, Stones or Beatles? Definitely Beatles. 100%. 100% I think no I'm on way. the fence. I might see, my dad would say Beatles, but I haven't you're really not, been a massive fan. No, no, no. You can't no, say Beatles, because that wouldn't be true. It wouldn't. You'd I would say Stones then. Yeah. Okay, um, the last film you saw at the cinema? Uh, Cabin in the Woods. Did you enjoy it? I did, until I realised it was about the gods and the universe and all that. It was good if it had been a bit like Hostel, where it was sort of a... People were paying to kill people in Hostel. I mean, obviously that's sick, but... If it was that kind of thing with with the cabin in the woods, like it was just a massive sort of like oh, what do you call it, like a like a massive game, but like a sick game, obviously that would have been better than like a network, see a network television like you know station had commissioned this kind of like sick game, like that would have been better than it's apparently they have to you know obey the gods from like years ago and they just all got a bit of shit, but you know like yeah. How about you? <laughs> it's like the longest answer ever. Um, it's fine. I, I, yeah, it took me a long time to remember actually, but it was um, a couple of weeks ago and I saw the um, that pirate, that kids movie, the pirate yeah. one. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? I loved it, it was awesome. Was and um, awesome. Flight of the Concords did a song. Yeah. I don't know oh, if you okay. know the two comedians from yeah, New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Anyway, um, that was the highlight of the movie for me though. Um, is your glass half empty or half full? Um, it's lukewarm. <laughs> it is lukewarm and it's coffee in a, in a plastic beer cup. Yeah, but, yeah um, it's actually half empty because I'd rather it be more full. So. But for me, half full. It's a snelly cup. Right, so basically, how would you describe yourselves? I think we're, um, we're kind of just honest people making music that we, we absolutely love. Um, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Everything's a bit tongue in cheek. It's a bit well, it's fun. cheeky, yeah. yeah and uh, yeah. you know, as well as having that that musical oomph that you know makes you happy. Wanna, wanna play yeah, as well. yeah. Um, so yeah, we're not too complicated. We're not we're not dark and we're not moody and pretentious and still, or anything. You know what it's I mean? Just, we're yeah. just you know out yeah. to have a good time, really. Yeah. And hopefully make others have a good time and enjoy our music too. How long have you been together? Steve and I have been playing together for for a few years now. Mm. Um, different formats. Um, yeah, we started out songwriting together first, didn't we? Yeah, exactly. Um, we were kind of approached by um, um, a management company. Yeah, to be in some pop rock band, yeah. um, like girl band, and then we soon realised that was a kind of shit. Well so. they had us singing um, <laughs> these ridiculous songs like that they had written. Pop yeah. songs and I mean one was called um, Bubbly Bath. But, you know, yeah, we'd rather our yeah. faces than sing songs like that so we decided <laughs> just to, um, we got ourselves a drummer and then we started to write songs and create a band rather than having someone else do it for you because that's just yeah. a hideous way to make music. So yeah. Uh, what about your individual backgrounds? Individual? Yeah. Should I go first? Do you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm Australian. Um, I was born in Melbourne, um, and I was um, playing in a band in Melbourne um, for a few years before I moved to London. Um, but I was playing acoustic guitar and piano, and the band was it was all about me. It was called the Jessica Coy Band, <laughs> which I think possibly we should <laughs> change the cutouts to now. Um, oh, no, really. Um, yeah, <laughs> and we, we were, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge um, Tori Amos fan, um, Fiona Apple, Kate Bush, all of that style of music, so that that was really what I was playing out in Melbourne. Um, but it was a little bit, yeah, just shoot the pigeon. That, oh. one, that one wants to shag that one. I know that's a horny pigeon, that is. Not probably for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically I, um, I, I got a little bit bored, a little bit restless, um, came to London and um, initially for a holiday, but um, ended up meeting um, meeting this one and uh, a few other people and yeah, wanted to sort of explore the musical scene out here and I think when we first started I, I wasn't playing bass either. I was, uh, we were both... We were just like on acoustic guitars, guitars though, yeah, when we were yeah. first playing, it was um, for the writing yeah. process. Um, and obviously we, we switched. Yeah, anyway, yeah. and that's me.
Um, I'm originally from Newcastle. Um, I came down to London when I was about 11. Um, <laughs> um, I went to ballet school. I actually used to be a ballet dancer, which is why I ended up in London. Um, I ended up having an accident, hurting my foot, so I couldn't dance anymore. Um, and kind of ended up sort of evolving into music. I'd always played music since I was a kid. I've been playing guitar since I was tiny. Um, and I played more to sort of songwrite rather than be a good guitarist. But then once I wasn't dancing anymore, I was like, oh, well, kind of what do I want to do? Um, so yeah, I started to sort of like work with different musicians. I started to work in a studio, um, doing like production and engineering for other people. Um, obviously, then we started doing cutouts things. And yeah, that's kind of where I came from, where I am now. <laughs> And you look quite completely cool. different as well when I first met you. We're not going to go there because I'll <laughs> stop bringing bringing things out about you. We're going to uh, we're going to stop there. I do like to tease you about that. I know. Uh, do you guys play together like full time or is it kind of like this on the side for um, Well, we're, we're a full time band. Yeah, we don't um, play with anybody else. Yeah, and uh, so that, you know, we're, we're completely dedicated and focused um, on the cutouts. Yeah. But obviously, we've got other um, things going on um, that we have to sort of balance. And, uh, you know, it's. We rehearse every week. We, yeah. You know, Band meetings. We do actually work quite hard with like our social media and stuff as well. I think it's become really apparent that you have to be really good at that now. Um, it's something that we actually try to get to grips with because we're not. We, we like to play the music and write the songs. It's hard to have to do both things and be sort of your own managers as well. Um, but we're getting there, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we started playing with them. We had an all female lineup. And then um, we started playing with a guy, and then um, we started to explore more sort of different sounds. When we first started out, we were more sort of a sort of, sort of funky, rocky, sort of raw threesome, and now we've sort of introduced the sort of synth sounds and you know, a different sort of a different style of songwriting, and it's you know it sort of evolved into something that we really love. And, um, yeah, things become more us than it than it ever was now. So. Do you have any musical influences? Please, yeah. yeah. Individually, I think they're quite they're vastly different. Um, but as a band, I think you know we we pick little things. Um, sometimes we nick little things here and there from other bands. Um, I think because we're yeah. so different as well. I think that's where our sound comes from. I yeah, think, exactly. We're actually quite true to yeah. ourselves, but also as a band, I don't know, it just seems to work between us, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's there's been some quite magical, really, but. There's some, like, you know, off the top of my head, like, some clear influences have been, like, Peaches and Gossip, um, Killers, Early Killers, yeah. um, Who Killers, yeah, 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 y
the lyrics in our songs and it was yeah. just sort of another little a good spin on on a, like, like, you know, a catchphrase it, that everybody knows. Exactly, you know I mean? yeah. And I think... And a lot of people do not do that in the music industry, is it? It's like, yeah. it's a case of, you know, no one's willing to put their money anywhere unless they know they're going to get something back. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's where it comes The word honey is a little bit more sexy. It's a little bit more... Hence the cover as Hence, well. You know well, yeah. what I mean? Just a little exactly. bit saucy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Do you have, like, any, like, singular bands that have, like, that you really can endlessly listen to? Prince. He's phenomenal. It's little, but it's oh, yeah. phenomenal. Always Prince. Oh. For me, I know I get picked on a lot for this, and I shouldn't because, like, <laughs> the woman is a musical genius. I'm going to answer this question for her. Go on. Tori Amos. Tori Amos. I'm sorry. She's out. I, 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 I could watch her for the rest of my life and die happy. She's amazing. <laughs> Seriously. She's phenomenal, but she does have a bit of a, a, bit of a <laughs> obsession, I think yeah. you could call it. <laughs> anyway. And um, what's your favourite song and album? Like outside of what you've written? Oh, oh okay. ever. Yeah. That is like oh, the <laughs> hardest question I think you could probably ever ask anyone. I don't know. I, I don't I don't have Yeah I can't there's point it to my like think, what's your favourite yeah. movie? I don't, I don't absolutely I don't think there's any way you could possibly answer that. Uh, sure. what about the future? Future? Yeah. Tonight we're off out on a birthday party. <laughs> on a jolly, yeah, that's the near future. As yeah, for future the band, <laughs> um, we, like um, Jess just said, we're going to make a video, a new video. Um, we're hoping to do some more recording as well. We're still obviously pushing our first EP, um, Honey Where Your Mouth Is. Um, yeah. But because, we're, yeah, our new drummer has sort of come in um, just recently, and obviously everyone gets excited and wants to like, write, new, write well. new songs, mm. and, you know, people, it, we're all quite inspired. You know, constantly. So um, yeah, we've had we've, we've written quite a few new tracks that you know we want to make another EP to do the song as well. So I think that will be very very soon. Mm. So that's the plan. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, what's your kind of preference for audiences? Um, I love audiences that come up really really close and dance. Yeah, the almost like want to touch you and yeah. sort of they <laughs> want to get sweaty and. Definitely. The ones that have don't a dance, give a yeah. shit. Yeah, the ones that are just yeah. not afraid to sort of just dance yeah. around and just you know enjoy themselves. But not like, not really, really drunk audience members that are just dancing because they're wasted and <laughs> yeah, people that know. actually like your music. <laughs> do you know what I mean? People can actually still hear it. Yeah, I think yeah. I like I like a really sort of packed, tight, intimate audience that are up for mm. you know just enjoying it with you and almost. It's interactive with yeah. you as well. You can have you know, yeah. conversations, yeah. some banter. It's nice. Yeah. It's not nice when, obviously, you know, you get a gig where people are quite frosty and it's a bit, you know, well, not saying really frosty, but like we were saying, when you play different venues, you get some venues where people are a little bit sort of like too cool and you know they're, they're a bit too afraid to let go or you know express themselves. Or even and that's clap. just a bit like yeah, I know. <laughs> or even clap. We did a gig over in Denmark when we recorded the um, the EP. Mm. And that was a, a like a refreshing change, but wasn't it? Yeah. It was fantastic. We played a gig yeah. at this venue. No one had ever heard of us. We played with a couple of other sort of like local bands in this really cool area, and um, the response we got from the crowd was phenomenal. Like just people were genuinely excited by what we were doing, and the applause was just phenomenal. Yeah. I think it kind of shocked us. We were a bit yeah. it was sort of taken aback by that. Yeah. And you don't really get that in London because I think people are just a little bit too conservative. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, thank you for the time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>